London, of course. And I'm not just telling you this because I'm over here. I've enjoyed my time in London so much. I went to Turks and Caicos, but internationally, like this is pretty much the only place I've been. And well, my wife is a flight attendant, so we're able to get a couple of free flights, uh, all free flights, really. It depends. Uh, lately, I, I, I've been going to Cabo in Mexico, or I go to uh, Turks and Caicos. I actually told my girlfriend, I was like, man, maybe I could come back over for a little bit of time in my next off season. So we'll see London. Uh, we just had a wedding in Italy in Como. Um, we've been to Amsterdam, we've been you know, to London, uh, we've been to Paris a bunch. Can't leave home without my headphones. I need my music. If I don't have my music, I am not a happy camper. I never leave home or travel without an iPhone charger and a Mophie. Because yeah. iPhones go dead very fast. So if you go without a charger, you're not yourself, man. Suitcase, I guess that counts. Uh, I need headphones for sure. My Nintendo Switch, and I was playing on um, games on it, and I watched two movies on the uh, flight. Maybe like a chocolate, chocolate chip cookie? I don't know. Yeah, some ice cream maybe? Probably a glass of wine and, uh, and like an Italian dinner with some cheesecake. Yeah, big cheesecake. Uh, lemon pepper chicken wings with Cajun ranch fries. Ooh, you call them chips. I call them fries, baby. <laughs> Nothing, because it takes a moment to calm down and uh, you know really get your you know your your, your sense back. Fifteen plus ounce steak, man. You know I love a, a bone in fillet. You know done medium. As a rookie, every day was a cheat meal. Now I'm trying to focus. Last year it was cheat meal every day, so uh, I got to change that up. Brian Dawkins. You know, I played safety when I was in high school. Brian Dawkins, he liked to say he played like Wolverine. You know, so that was his, you know, his character. I, I tried to play the same way. Michael Vick. Yeah, that's why I wore the number seven. I've been wearing it all my life. My brother, uh, he played, uh, he played football at Oregon State. I've always gone back to him and asked him for questions and whatnot. Middle school, high school, and college, I wore number seven. So that's why I wore 97 now because I can't wear just a seven. Family is blood, um, and I appreciated everything he's done for me in my life. For a while, it was Reggie Bush that just helped me out as a football player. I grew up in Chicago, so Michael Jordan was kind of the legend of Chicago. Now as a receiver, it's a lot of guys in the league that I watch and uh, take notes of, of their game, and definitely older guys like Randy Moss as well. Just so many great players that play the game, that it's hard to just choose one. I don't really remember growing up and watching him, but like his legend is like what everyone talks about in Chicago. So winning six championships, he kind of put Chicago on the map in basketball, and I grew up being a huge basketball fan, so probably Michael Jordan. Sorry. One of my favorite uh, players growing up was Jerome Bettis. Uh, I actually got to meet him in the Super Bowl in New Orleans in 2012 or 13. He was sitting in a bar, and, uh, and I was nervous to go speak to him because this is one of my childhood heroes, and um, it, it was exciting. It was exciting to get that moment. Uh, nothing crazy, just kind of relax a little bit. I kind of listen to pretty mellow music. At night, before I go to sleep, just different calming music or R&B song. Kind of relax, try to like kind of visualize what I'm going to do on the field, look over the, the plays we're going to run during the game. So I, I'm definitely more reserved, I would say, than the normal. When I wake up in the morning, I listen to a little gospel. You know, there's church music. Mm -hmm. When I get out there, uh, I'm, I'm super hyped up and I'm ready to go and uh, ready to run away from some people in my position. I'm a big pump up guy, with, you know, I listen to rap, you know, hip hop before the game. Driving to the stadium, I listen to rap, then I slow it down in the locker room, then right before I go back out, I listen to something that get me going, you know, so I flip flop. Uh, game day might be a song that I heard uh, during that week, and so that song leads to other songs, uh, it all depends. For me, my motivation is to be the best player that I can be because I have invested my life into this game. I've played football for half the time that I've been on this planet, so um, I have a true love for it. Uh, for me, I always just want to want to be the best player I can be. Every single day, I just want to try to find one thing I can work on to make myself a better football player than I was the day before. And you know, that's that's what makes me work in the off season. That's what kind of uh, motivates me throughout training camp, stuff like that. Too. Just want to do better than uh, last week and just every week waking up, being excited, being uh, happy, and just knowing that I'm blessed to be able to do this. Everybody different, and my motivation is not other people. Me, I like cars. 
I like old school cars. So I think about a car, even though I might have it. I just think about what I want to do with this car. And if I wasn't playing ball as hard as I was playing this sport, I won't be able to do this car like I wanted. So I put in my mind, you know, Mario, go out there, go perform, go crazy out there, man. And you be able to do this to this car. It may sound weird, but it's just how I get going because I like cars. Winning, I, I think that's the biggest thing is we know, we know where we want to be, uh, you know, as an NFL club. Uh, we want to be in the Super Bowl. We want to win, we want to have that Super Bowl ring on uh, in February. Um, so we want to be able to be a part of that. So that's what drives us each and every single week uh, to keep pushing, to keep getting better, to install the new game plan, to go beat that team, and to keep continue to do that week in and week out. We love playing the games. Uh, we love being able to win and uh, giving the fans what they want.